Hello you guys, just thought I'd show you a giant yellowtail Kribo. Now these are the runners of the dry Marcon group. They're probably the longest, but they also, unlike say an Eastern or a Blacktail, which tend to sort of mold around your hands and cruise around, they're very, very sort of runny. They're off and they're always moving off to the next thing. Now people say they're aggressive or the most aggressive. Listen, I handle my snakes now and again. They huff and they puff, never been bitten by a yellowtail. But you can see what I mean, it's on the go all the time. But a beautiful snake, a big colubrid snake. Whoa, so you can see what I'm saying. So obviously, if you handled yours like a pet, you'd probably find a different animal, but you get the idea, what a big, beautiful colubrid snake this really is. And the colors on this tail are out of this world. Look at that animal. What an absolute beautiful creature. Calm down a little bit now. So how long do you think this is? Hang on. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Let's have a look. Wow. Let's have a look. Hey look, I'm near a six foot tall. Yeah, that's a big old, that's a big old colubrid snake right there. Look at that. You're not thinking this is the one on the, the title, are you? The, the biggest one in the world. Don't be silly. This is one of his daughters. Hold on a second. Unfortunately, this one, she's just going into a shed cycle, like autumn shed cycle. But you can see a bigger animal indeed. A big, <laughs> well, they, don't do where you, they don't go where you want them to go. You get the idea. Look at this. What a shame she's going into shed. Whoa, steady on. But this is a much bigger animal. If only I could get it to stretch out. What you can't see behind you, it's a really great African bullfrog going ballistic to try and come and eat this snake. Eyes bigger than his belly. So look at this. Have you got, or do you know anyone, with a yellowtail Kribo bigger than this one? Beautiful mature specimen, dulled down for shed. What a shame. Look at this. Such lively big snakes, but da da, that is a big colubrid snake. Look at the size of it. You do know someone. Your mate's got a bigger yellowtail creebo than this one. Yeah, I believe you. Because this isn't a big one, this is just a decent sized female. Hold on a second. Now, of course, I don't really think he's the biggest one in the world, but I do think possibly the biggest in the UK. This really is a giant colubrid snake. People say these big dry marcon, they're the nearest you're gonna to get to a, a non-venomous king cobra. And I can see what they're saying. They've got a presence, almost a seemingly intelligence about them. And they're just massive snakes. This isn't a python or a boa. This is just a snake. Let's just have a look because this guy really is <laughs> absolutely ginormous. I need to remeasure him. He's over eight feet long. And like all the others, he is an absolute runner. And to get him stretched out, to get a good picture of him, to get a good video of him, it just never happened. I just can't get anything outside, inside. Doesn't help that they don't keep still, but look at the color. And again, outside in the sunshine, a different animal indeed. Look, what beautiful creatures these are. I think the black tails are lovely pet-like creatures. The way they move around their hands. Eastern indigo, stunning. And just such an icon. All that aside, I think the yellowtail Kribo is by far and away the best looking, most colourful of all the Indigo and Kribo group. Outside in sunlight, the iridescent on the front half and the mustard coloured yellow is just absolutely shocking. But for sure, this is one mahusive, ginormous <laughs> snake. Look at this. He's not, he's not showing off, is he? One more go, one more go. 
I will somehow get a photo shoot with this guy and try and get something just to show him off. Moving through the grass maybe, close up of him. But it's just so hard to show off what a massive, beautiful creature he is. Solid muscle, really, really, really strong. They're not constrictors, but my goodness me, they can wrap around stuff. Look at that. <laughs> we haven't even got to the end. Look at that. What an absolute, beautiful, big creature this is. When it comes to beauty and the wow factor, he's my favorite here. When it comes to nostalgia, the seven foot female falsey, I've had her such a long time. In fact, false water cobras were my poor man's effort to get dry mark on, to be honest. They're fantastic, they're fantastic. But for sheer, just stunning beautifulness, this guy here, he just will not straighten out. This guy here is my favorite, just, I hate the word, but sheer awesomeness. This guy has it all. And again, we just can't, we just can't show off <laughs> what an amazing creature that is. Absolutely gorgeous. Huffing and puffing. Let's see if I'm getting any close ups. Wow. Are you going to turn around? Just keep on running. <laughs> Excuse you. Look at this. Look at that iridescent beauty. Absolutely getting everywhere. What a beautiful creature. Massive scales. The beauty of dry mark on is just those armor, armor plated scales. Let's put him back. See if we've got anything, anything at all that gives you a glimmer of what a beautiful animal. Is before us. Look at it.